Brought to you by wikivd.com Piers Morgan Piers Stefan Puffer Morgan, known professionally as Piers Morgan, is a British journalist and television personality currently working as the US editor-at-large for the Daily Mail website Mail Online and as a presenter on British breakfast show Good Morning Britain. He is also the editorial director of First News, a British national newspaper for children. Morgan began his journalism career in Fleet Street as a writer and editor for several tabloid papers, including The Sun, News of the World and The Daily Mirror. In 1994, aged 29, he was appointed editor of the News of the World by Rupert Murdoch which made him the youngest editor of a British national newspaper in more than half a century. He later edited the Daily Mirror, and was in charge during the period that the paper was implicated in the phone hacking scandal. In 2011 Morgan denied having ever hacked a phone or, to my knowledge, published any story obtained from the hacking of a phone. In 2012 he was heavily criticized in the findings of the Leveson inquiry, when the chair Brian Leveson stated that comments made in Morgan's testimony about phone hacking were utterly unpersuasive and clearly prove that he was aware that it was taking place in the press as a whole, and that he was sufficiently unembarrassed by what was criminal behavior that he was prepared to joke about it. On television, he hosted Piers Morgan Live on CNN from 2011 to 2014, replacing Larry King live in the time slot following King's retirement. He was a judge on America's Got Talent and Britain's Got Talent. In 2008, Morgan won the seventh season of the US Celebrity Apprentice in the UK. He presents Piers Morgan's live stories and Good Morning Britain. Morgan has written eight books, including four volumes of memoirs. Early Life Piers Morgan was born Piers Stefan O'Meara on 30 March 1965 in Newark, Sussex, England, to Vincent Eamon O'Meara, an Irish-born dentist, originally from County Offaly, and Gabrielle Georgina Sybil. He took his stepfather's surname and became known as Piers Stephen Puffer Morgan. He attended the independent school Cumnor House from the ages of 7 to 13, and then Chaley School, a comprehensive secondary school in Chaley, near Lewis, East Sussex, followed by Priory School. For sixth form, Morgan studied journalism at Harlow College. After a brief career, at Lloyd's of London, he joined the Surrey and South London newspaper group in 1985, where he worked as a reporter on the South London News and the Streatham and Tooting News. Morgan was recruited to join The Sun to work on the Bizarre column. At the Murdoch Titles Morgan's first high-profile post in the British media was as the main writer of Bazaar, the Sun's show business column, while the newspaper was being edited by Kelvin Mackenzie. In 1994, aged 29, he was appointed editor of the News of the World by Rupert Murdoch, becoming the youngest national newspaper editor in more than half a century. He quickly gained notice for his prying, forthright style and lack of sympathy for celebrities' privacy, claiming that they could not manipulate the media to further their own ends without accepting the consequences of a two-way deal. Morgan left this post in 1995 shortly after publishing photographs of Catherine Victoria Lockwood then wife of Charles Earl Spencer, leaving an addictive disorders clinic in Surrey. This action ran against the editor's code of conduct, a misdemeanor, for which the Press Complaints Commission upheld a complaint against Morgan. Murdoch was reported as having said that the boy went too far and publicly distanced himself from the story. 
fearful of a privacy law action if he had not criticized one of his employees. Murdoch is said to have apologized to Morgan in private. The incident was reported to have contributed to Morgan's decision to leave for the Daily Mirror editorship. Morgan's autobiography The Insider states that he left the news of the world of his own choice and somewhat against owner Rupert Murdoch's wishes when he was offered the job of editor at the Daily Mirror. Daily Mirror Editor As editor of the Daily Mirror, in 1996 Morgan was forced to apologize on television for the headline, Act Hung Surrender, for you Fritz Z Euro Championship is over. On 25 June 1996, a day before England met Germany in a semi-final of the Euro 96 football championships. A £16 million package of investment in the title was rolled out from January, including the dropping of Daly from the masthead in February, which was later reversed. Roy Greenslade wrote in August 1999 that Morgan's editorship has made a huge difference. His enormous enthusiasm, determination and focus is a major plus. Morgan was the subject of an investigation in 2000 after Susie Jagger wrote an article for the Daily Telegraph revealing that he had bought £20,000 worth of shares in the computer company Viglund soon before the Mirror S. City Slickers column tipped Viglund as a good buy. Morgan was found by the Press Complaints Commission to have breached the Code of Conduct on Financial Journalism, but kept his job. The City Slickers, columnists Daniel Boyrell and James Hipwell, were both found to have committed further breaches of the Code and were sacked before the inquiry concluded. Further inquiry by the Department of Trade and Industry in 2004 cleared Morgan of any charges. On 7 December 2005, Boyrell and Hipwell were convicted of conspiracy to breach the Financial Services Act. During the trial it emerged that Morgan had bought £67,000 worth of Viglund shares, emptying his bank account and investing under his wife's name, too. The Mirror attempted to move mid-market in 2002, claiming to eschew the more trivial stories of show business and gossip. Morgan rehired John Pilger, who had been sacked in 1985 early in Robert Maxwell's ownership of the Mirror titles. Morgan was fired as editor of the Daily Mirror, with immediate effect, on 14 May 2004. After refusing to apologize to Sly Bailey, then head of Trinity Mirror, for authorizing the newspaper's publication of photographs which had been shown to be false. These were alleged to show Iraqi prisoners being abused by British Army soldiers from the Queen's Lancashire Regiment, when, within days the photographs were shown to be crude fakes, under the headline, Sorry, we were hoaxed. The Mirror responded that it had fallen victim to a calculated and malicious hoax and apologized for the publication of the photographs. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.